Hello and welcome. In this lecture, we are tackling the topoisomerase inhibitors, which are one family of the five classes of the chemotherapies which can target the cancer cells that are constantly dividing and interfering with their DNA replication. Let's see what are the types of topo inhibitors. There are two types of topo inhibitors. The top one inhibitors that act on the topo one isomerase and the top two inhibitors that act on the topo two enzyme. Let's first get familiar with the topo isomerase one function under normal physiological conditions. As we can see, the top one binds to the DNA and then specifically it binds to a single strand and then cleaving the strand using a tyrosine nucleophilic residue. It will cause a break in the single strand and lastly the top one will seal the gap or the break that was created. Let's see how and when the top one inhibitors act. We'll start with a drug named camptothecin. Upon the cleavage of the top one inhibitor, the camptothecin will bind with both the DNA and the top one enzyme, locking them in the cleavage complex. Subsequently, there will be an accumulation of supercoiling downstream of the breakage site that will eventually end with double strand breaks. Let's remember briefly what are the types of DNA supercoiling. Let's start with the negative supercoiling, which is a clockwise directional coiling of the DNA, and a positive supercoiling is anti clockwise directional coiling of the DNA. For the enzymes that can unwind the negative supercoiled DNA, we have two isoforms of the protein top three. And for the enzymes that can work on both the negative and positive supercoiling, the top A and top 2B. And for the single strand based relief of supercoiling, there is nuclear top one and mitochondrial top one. Now let's move to the top top two function under normal physiological conditions as we can see first the top two binds with the double stranded DNA then it will cleave the both DNA strands then it will allow the passage of one strand on the top of the other relieving the super coiling ahead lastly the enzyme receives the gap it made for the drugs or treatments that can inhibit the topo two enzymes there is a drug named a side as we can see on the left side of the screen after the step of the cleavage specifically during the cleavage complex step tipocide will interfere and join the cleavage complex by having a dna binding part and another one for the topo 2 binding together those two parts will lock the cleavage complex in its place which subsequently will lead to dna damage and finally apoptosis now let's move to a real life example in the application of top inhibitors in colorectal cancer as we know the colon and rectum are very important and crucial organs for the digestive system and as we can see the lining of the colon has different types of cells in case there is a tumor that arises in the epithelial cells of the colon then these cells after their division will form a polyp or a tumor and if this tumor was treated with 5-fluorouracil a type of anti-metabolites and then relapsed studies showed that the expression of this relapsed cancer cells will show an increased level of topoisomerase 1 expression Subsequently, the studies suggested the usage of a top 1 inhibitor, such as the camptothecin. However, camptothecin showed a high level of toxicity. Therefore, derivatives of this drug was tested, such as the irinotecan. Let's see how the irinotecan differs from the camptothecin. As we can see, when the top 1 starts to cleave the single stranded DNA to relieve the coiling up front, the replication fork, the irinotecan, which is composed of camptothecin like nucleus with the addition of two rings which totally forms the irinotecan compound. This compound can be cleaved by esterases forming the SN38 active compound, locking of the replication fork and subsequently cell cycle arrest. Therefore, the FDA approved the renotecan as a member of the chemotherapies that can be used with relapsed colon carcinoma. Now let's move to the resistance mechanisms that can be developed by the cancer cells. The first is the oxidation by cytochrome P450 enzymes, which are abundant in the liver. But first, let's get familiar with two additional FDA-approved drugs for topoisomerase inhibition. The first one is topotecan, which is a derivative of the camptothecin with the addition of a side chain that has nitrogen, which increases 
the drug excretion and decreases the drug toxicity and it is considered as an active form unlike the erinotecan which is considered as pro drug for the top two inhibitors we previously explained the mechanism of action of etiposide similar to the etiposide structure teniposide has an additional sulfur containing cyclic structure that increase the binding with the topo enzyme therefore increasing the potency of the drug for the liver metabolism of these drugs, topotecan can acquire an additional hydroxyl group that increase its hydrophilicity. Erinotecan gets hydrolyzed by the carboxyl esterase enzymes found in the liver, breaking this ester bond and releasing the SN38. However, SN38 can be deactivated by the addition of glucouronic acid on this side of the compound. For the top two inhibitors, tenipocyte can get oxidized by the conversion of this hydroxyl group to a ketone group same case for a teposide therefore the top inhibitors become less effective there is another type of resistance in cancer cells which is mediated by the abc transporters which act only in the presence of atp molecule that can allow the transporter to channel out these drugs outside of the cell therefore the drug concentration inside the cancer cells will be reduced let's move to the last type of potential mechanisms of resistance which is based on the mutations in the topoisomerase enzyme itself for the sake of example as we can see the top one can have mutations in the active site or allosteric site that can either decrease the formation of cleavage complex less cleavage complex formation or decrease the affinity of the drugs to bind with the enzyme top inhibitors become less effective let's end this video with a comparison with other types or classes of chemotherapy as we can see for the mechanism of action the anti-metabolites or the false analogs insert themselves in the dna strands while the alkylating agents can bind and cross link between different nucleotides for the m inhibitors they act by preventing the polymerization or stabilizing the microtubule and for the top inhibitors they can act by inhibiting the top one or top two enzymes for the cell cycle action the antimetabolites mainly act in the s phase for the alkylating agents they affect different phases of the cell cycle for the m inhibitors they act by affecting the m phase for the top inhibitors they are drug dependent it's drug dependent as some drugs can stop the cell cycle as the s phase others at the g2 and some at the m phase for the tumors the antimetabolite mainly target the fast dividing alkylating agents fast and slow dividing and the m inhibitors mainly fast dividing and the top inhibitor also affect the fast dividing cell I want to gladly announce that the cancer signaling pathways and targeted therapy scores is now available on the Udemy platform. For now, do you know what are the antibiotics that can be used as anti-cancer agents? This question will be answered in the next video.